All right, gonna do a video going through what I think are some of, easily some of the best cartoons of the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Now, I need to point something out. I'm not saying that I endorse the artists of all these cartoons. I don't know what their views are or anything else. It could be like a liberal atheist or whatever. Okay, these are just, in my opinion, the best cartoons about the false prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Because Muhammad was a very uh, out there, perverted individual, and he started the false religion of Islam, which is basically just Roman Catholicism repackaged when you get down to it. He was started by uh, Augustinian monks. But I'm uh, gonna go through some of these, I'm uh, gonna go through five of these cartoons of the false prophet of Islam. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, it, it seems to cause a lot of ruckus, especially over in uh, European nations. And it's important the fact that, you know, why are you mocking a false religion? Well, because Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal, for example. So I'm doing this partly because, just to show, you know, some satirical humor regarding the false religion of Islam and the false prophet Muhammad. So here's the first cartoon. Uh, you see Muhammad with a, uh, which would, would, would normally, be, normally be a turban, but this time he's got a bomb coming out of it. Because that is truthfully, that is basically what Islam is all about. You see, Islam, the Muslim terrorists are not terrorists. They're just Muslims, plain and simple. And this cartoon perfectly uh, and accurately sums that up. Uh, on to the next cartoon. You have uh, Muhammad saying, my gift to the world, my religion of peace, and then holding a peaceful symbol, but then with a bomb on it. Because the religion of peace, Islam, is essentially how they show they're so peaceful is by blowing themselves up and doing suicide attacks. Yeah. Another very accurate description of the false prophet Muhammad and his false religion of Islam. Here is another cartoon of Muhammad. This time you have him uh, with all the voices that he's hearing in his head from the you know, demonic entity that was manifesting as the angel Gabriel, uh, essentially. Uh, because Satan manifests as the angel of light, 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 11, verse 13 to 15. And the uh, entity that came to him was a demonic entity in the form of an angel of light manifesting as an angel of light, I'll put it that way. But essentially, it's all the just nutty stuff in the Quran, including the violence and death commands. And by the way, Proverbs 8.36, God says, you know, uh, the, or the proverb says, you know, uh, when, you know, basically God speaking, uh, all they that hate me love death. That's Islam for you right there, perfectly summed up by this cartoon. Here is the next cartoon. Uh, a good illustration of the fact that Muhammad was definitely seduced by the serpent, uh, Satan, obviously, uh, because he's more subtle than any beast of the field. And I, I, I like to name this one, I call it Ma uh, Medusa Muhammad or Muhammad Medusa. And again, perfectly accurate of the fact that the serpent, the dragon, Satan, was who seduced Muhammad. And you know, look at the demonic eyes he has as well, because yeah, Islam is demonic, Islam is of the serpent. And Muhammad was a tool of the devil. And here's the final cartoon. Uh, in this case, you have Muhammad with all this booty and all the essentially kill count that he had when he started Islam doing his Islamic conquest. Because again, uh, Islam, the Muslim terrorists, are not terrorists. They're just doing what Muhammad did. And this cartoon perfectly, perfectly sums it up. The bloodthirsty sword, the bloody sword, all the uh, bodies, all the skulls, all the looted treasure he stole. Because the Quran does allow stealing from non-Muslims. That's a fact. I showed that in other videos. And this right here is the false prophet of Islam with his kill count. And obviously, you know, the demonic look on his face, because obviously he's been filled with devils too, because again, all they that hate me love death. That's what we see in this cartoon right there. Him on the piles of bones. I know it's just a cartoon, but it is an accurate depiction of the fact that Islam is of the devil. And again, not saying I endorse all the artists of these cartoons. I don't know their views or anything else. Again, they could be some atheist or whatever, but it is accurately, scripturally accurate, some of these depictions of the false prophet Muhammad. You know, that's plain and simple. Islam is of the devil. Islam is demonic. And these cartoons sum it up perfectly, regardless of the views of whoever made them. Plain and simple. So anyway, wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by Islam. It is a spirituality of Ishmael. Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.